Okay, everybody. Now, I was just turned on to this list, and we're recording this live. There is a chat going on, and if you want to see me react to this kind of thing over on Twitch, it's twitch.tv forward slash I'm Uncle Ron. We're going to react to the top ten of Variety's 100 Greatest Horror Films by Critics of All Time. We're going to go through this real quick. Uh, in at number ten is Carrie. While Carrie is a good film, I really enjoy it. I do. I do. Um, it does not, it should not be in the top 10. It should not be in the top 10. Um, I think films like Evil Dead or, uh, things like, or The Thing, which was apparently 46 on their list. Um, and Evil Dead 2 was 34, but Evil Dead should be in the top 10. So Carrie, while an amazing film and in one of my films, I ripped it off. I'm not going to deny that. This is 100%. Not right. I'm just going to say it. In at number 9 is Solo or 120 Days of Sodom. This is basically disturbing porn. It's not horror. It's just fucked up. Um, people eat shit and in this movie. And it's disturbing. I actually had a copy on a DVD uh, that I bought from some a friend of, an old friend of mine that... Um, I kept in a drawer. I didn't even put it with the rest of my movies because I didn't want the rest of my movies to get dirty from this. It does not belong on this list or at number nine. Number eight, Frankenstein from 1931. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... I'm not sure if I would put it at eight, but it definitely belongs in the top ten. So I got no argument with uh, uh, the James Whale uh, Frankenstein. Um, audition, no. No. If you're going to put it on this list, you have to put it way, 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 way further down on the list. Just because somebody gets stuck with needles and gets all sorts of other fucked up stuff happening to them, Audition does not belong on a top 100 list uh, of greatest horror movies of all time. I'm sorry. I'm I'm just going to argue that. It doesn't belong there. There's and, and people can say, well, why not? There's thousands upon thousands of horror movies where this could sit. It doesn't belong in the top 100 greatest of all time. And if you're an Audition fan, I'm sorry. I'm not saying it's a bad film. It just doesn't belong. Uh, and then we go down to number six, Night of the Living Dead. I kind of don't have a problem with this. Um, I think it deserves to be higher than Dawn because it's more influential. If we didn't have Night of the Living Dead, we wouldn't have a Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And if we didn't have a Texas Chainsaw Massacre, we wouldn't have a lot of people. Uh, making films right now. So I'm okay with uh, Night of the Living Dead being at six. Now we're getting into the real fucked up stuff. Number five, Rosemary's Baby. No, top 50? Sure. Top five? No. Not at all. Not at all. It's it's a little disturbing. It's not really all that scary. I mean, did, did Frank Sinatra's estate do this for Mia Farrow? You know, is he still looking out for her from the dead? And by the way, Ronan Farrow was 100% Frank Sinatra's kid. I will fight you to the death on that one. There's no way that kid came out of Woody Allen's balls. But Rosemary's Baby does not belong in the top five at all. Number four, Jaws. Put it in the top ten, not the top five. It's scary, it's frightening, but it does not belong at number four. Um, in at number three, Psycho. Um, top ten, but not number three. I'm not going to argue with this because it is a, uh, for, especially for 1960, this is a horrifying film. In at number two, The Exorcist. I can't argue with The Exorcist being number two. I can't at all. Um, I mean, you got Friedkin and Blatty, and I mean, that's in the picture right here. If you're watching this on YouTube, the picture right here, that's Jason Patrick's dad. And if you're watching this um, and you know who Jason Patrick is, it's probably because you just watched Terrifier 3, which I'm shocked isn't on the list. And in at number one, I, I cannot argue, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, despite what your favorite horror movie is, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is the greatest horror film of all time. Without Chainsaw, there would be no me. This and Dawn of the Dead are what got me into what I do, um, and uh, I cannot argue this uh, at all. However, I am going to argue with the fact that there is no fucking Friday the 13th on this list at all. If you have a problem with part one, 
I get it. But part two is just as good, if not better. Part four is amazing. And you've obviously made the decision that it's okay to put sequels and remakes on here because you put Hostile 2. And you put Human Centipede 2. So if you don't like the original Friday, which I can understand, it's it's kind of boring. You know, I'm a big Friday the 13th fan, but it is kind of boring. Part 4 is amazing, Part 2 is amazing, Part 6 is amazing. And you're obviously okay with putting stuff like Human Centipede and Hostile, which are visceral uh, experiences in gore with little to no story, whereas Friday the 13th has a story going on throughout all the movies. It's a constant storyline. And then you put fucking Freddy back at, what, 60-something? Or 70-something? It's ridiculous. But the big thing here is twofold. One, there's no thi- uh, no Friday the 13th, and you put The Thing. John Carpenter's The Thing, which is arguably one of the greatest horror films of all time. You put it at 46 when it belongs in the top five. That should be in Rosemary's Baby spot, is The Thing. Hands down. I mean, you put uh, 28 Days Later at 42 above The Thing. You put Hereditary above The Thing. Um, it, it just doesn't make any sense. So, uh, what do you think about this list? Uh, Where do you think things should have ended up? Uh, Leave a message in the comments. Uh, Hit me up on social media, at I'm Uncle Ron. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. And let's get a discussion going here. Let's Let's show Variety that whoever their critics are, no. Just, no. We'll see you next time, everybody.